Bouncy text is a fun way to spice up any project you're working on in After Effects. Here's how you do it. Your position numbers are probably going to vary from mine, so be sure to focus on technique more than anything. Also, this line isn't part of the final product. You don't have to use it, but it does help if you've never done this before. We want our text to jump up and bounce a little before settling in place, so place it at the base of that jump before starting. Now open up your text settings and click this button and hit position. Go to position and grab the Y axis. Drag the Y axis into the negative to lift it up. Keep going until you find where you want it to end up. Make a note of where you want it to rest on the line and then raise it up just a little bit higher than that. For me, it's negative 240. Open the range selector and bring the offset to negative 100. Make a keyframe and then move forward on the timeline to where you want the animation to end and set another keyframe at positive 100. Open your advanced settings, change the shape to ramp down and set ease high to 100%. Ease high and low aren't super important, but they can be a very fun way to play with the acceleration of your letters. Also, you can optionally turn on the randomizer if you want the letters to come up randomly instead of just from left to right. Collapse the animator and then make a copy of it with Command or Control D. Using the endpoint of the animation as a guide, adjust the position into the positives so that your text is bumping right up against that guideline. For me, it's 60. Also, go into the advanced settings and set both the ease high and low to 50%. Now collapse that animator and make a duplicate of it for a total of three. This time, all you need to do is adjust the position so that it lines up with where you made a note of earlier. This one was negative 25 for me. Now hit U until it shows you just the keyframes that you've made. Evenly distribute the three sets of keyframes. I'm going with five frames, but you can stretch it out more if you want the bounce to be slower. And now you've got some bouncy text. One last bonus thing is while you've got your text selected, click your rectangle tool and draw one under your guideline to make a mask. So the masks mode to subtract, get rid of your guideline, toggle your modes here and turn on motion blur. And now your text looks like it's hopping over an invisible wall. Isn't that cool? If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, Check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.